Heads is the call. The match referee Chris Broad says... It's a head. It's a head. Uh, Ricky, you won the toss. What have you decided? Yeah, we're going to have a bat, Ravi. Looks a good track. It does look good, yeah. It's changed a little bit in appearance the last couple of days. Probably a few more cracks have opened up today, as you'd expect. But uh, overall, it looks like a good surface. Well, Anil, you've uh, lost the toss. Uh, big disappointment? Yeah, not really. I think ideally, yes, you would have liked to win the toss and bat first. But, uh, you know, there's a little bit of moisture, so we'd like to utilise that with the two paces uh, in our side. Have a good game, Anil. Thank you. Yes, he's a quality player at the top of the order for the Australians. Simon Kabich, his partner at the other end. Playing a miss. There's been a shout for court behind, and he's been given. Just a little edge from Matthew Hayden and an early strike for the Indians. Proud, if you see, he's pushed out at the ball, which is what he tends to do. And away movement and low catch down to Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Everybody behind, confident that Matthew Hayden had nicked it. Gautam Gambhir embracing him. Matthew Hayden out for a duck. Australia one down without a run on the board. Ricky Ponting is the new man for the Australians. Driven down the ground, a misfield at mid-off. And that will go all the way to the boundary rope. First boundary of the morning to Ricky Ponting. get onto that ponting that it may still reach the square leg boundary that's how quick he is under the pull stroke nobody in the world quicker there's the advantage of the big move across the stumps by Simon Kadic <laughs> Shiver had just said there's no third man now there is a perfect stroke and at the top of the ball's bounce too, not a half volley by any means. Well worked, that'll beat the fine leg. It's very quick outfield here in Bangalore. Uh, Sachin Tanduku won't cut it off. Great placement. No need for Ponding to go in the air, both mid... to go for four oh, I suspect just a little clip of the pad on the way leg by signaled by Rudy Kutzen oh, that's really nice he wait for the ball nicely Simon Kadic and gets his timing spot on beautifully timed we find the fence, elegant shot from the Australian captain. There's a here Khan trying from a different angle around the wicket. Stand and deliver. One of the best shots that you'll see in this game. And he's reached a magnificent half century, the Australian captain. How's about that? There's a measure of Ricky Ponting's confidence. Harbhajan switched to around the wicket, works for... There's great placement, all made by the footwork. Got him so Through the offside, that'll be the 50 for Simon Kadic. And he's brought it up with a boundary. Nice juicy little half folly around the off stump from uh, Harbhajan Singh. There's a huge gap there. Work hard for their runs that is a beautiful shot from Ricky Ponting that'll be a boundary it was all about timing and placement then oh edged just past leg stump from Ricky Ponting it's another boundary over the top beautiful shot from Ricky Ponting and another boundary Well, it's absolutely perfect considering the start, losing a wicket in the very first over. India. Like that, and now when he's uh, bowled wide, he's uh, got it past the man at cover and into the boundary. It's good batting by Ponting. 
More runs on the offside. Zahir Khan can't get it. Some tired legs out there now. Overseas for the Australian team. That's edged and taken, finally. India get the breakthrough. He'd been driven through the covers earlier on in the over. On this occasion, just getting the ball to move off the seam. Simon Kadic trying to repeat the dose. On this occasion, catches the edge. And Ishan Sharma has the big breakthrough. Simon Kadic on his way for 66. Australia now two for 166. Michael Hussey comes out to the middle. 26 matches. Uh, and have a look at that average. Close to 70. 41 runs in the uh, in the first session. Well, that is a good example of everything we've seen from Ricky Ponting today. He gets into a marvellous position to play the stroke. He picks the space straight 99. He has never made 100 in India. He has made one now. Ricky Ponting with great style goes to a magnificent hundred. Raising in hands in triumph and why not? He's been tormented on uh, previous uh, tours uh, to India. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's why it's dangerous to let Michael Assi off the hook. Kumbay around the wicket, good chop from Hussey. That is through the gap on the offside for a boundary. Worked away fine, ball quicker through the air. He spade the penalty, Harbhajan Singh. Hussey picking up a boundary, 2-1-1 two, one, one for two. Oh, Thinking about it, Asadrov has given it. Finally! Harbhajan Singh strikes. The ninth time that Harbhajan Singh has got him out LBW. We're trying to play the sweep shot and being hit pretty low down the pads. Number for five innings, 123 to Ponting, 226 for three. Michael Clark arrives at the crease. That's too easy to be put away. Too short, asking for trouble. And Clark gets off the mark. Another short delivery and a boundary. Most expensive over of the innings, 245 for three. Yes. No third man, and it'll be four. Hussey won't mind it as long as it keeps coming. It's a close one. Slow bit gives it out. Real slow bit when Jody Kutsons, the umpire, takes his time to raise the finger. Yeah, they needed to get back into this match. Perfect length. The ball coming back in. Doesn't get any easier for the umpire Rudy Cousin. Caught plump in front. Absolute beauty. He's jumping for joy. Indians are back in it. Michael Clark gone for 11. Australia 254 for four. And Hussey also quickly away. He'll want two. He's very quick between the wickets. He'll get two. And this is where I think the Indians have to be really, really sharp. Oh, he's all right. Out, 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 out. Shane Watson has gone. So Ishan Sharma gets his man. It's probably come back just a little bit. I think he was a little too late on the shot. Yes, he was late on the shot. Just clipping the, the uh, off stump. And uh, Shane Watson... Uh, He's come back to the Australian cricket team as a batsman. Certainly not very successful. 2.59 for five. Now Michael Hussey has 50. Tremendous example of everything that's good in Michael Hussey. He's been nowhere near his best. He hasn't been fluent. He's just simply four. He's stayed at the wicket. And Michael Hussey is so quickly under the short ball. He's found the gap. Played it late, opening the face of the bat. Seventh boundary for Michael Hussey. Right, 
It's going through. Ganguly waiting was the call. Four up there fielding by Sara Ganguly and has gone to the fence. And he stroked it beautifully. Small little gap between mid wicket and mid on. He's timed it well, but even better was the placement. Oh, that's a beautiful shot from Michael Hussey. He's pierced the gap mid off and another boundary. Played very well played. That was an old Daniel Kumble ball. And Haddon was hurried into his stroke, but because he watched the ball under the bat, he got away with it. Lovely. He moved into such a good position to play that stroke. Inside edge, lucky. Another boundary. And uh, the 900 of his test match career. Very, very good innings from Michael Asi. He was lucky to get that uh, ball away to the boundary. But That's in the air, beautifully bowled. Change of pace does the trick. Vivius Lakshman making no mistake. He's come up with something different, the slower ball, absolutely fooled Brad Haddon, pops it up to the short cover, Laxman reaches high and takes the catch, Haddon has gone for 33, the score now, 350 for 6. Australia have lost the wicket of Haddon after lunch, Cameron White has come out to the middle. Bit of luck going Cameron White's way, fair enough, to start a test career, you're new out of the crease, you it's out. Got an extra cover. Two from two for Ishan Sharma. There it is. Last minute change in the grip. There comes the off spin. Another slower delivery. Cameron White reaching for it. A simple catch there to extra cover. White's gone. It's 362 for seven. If it is well. He's gone over the top. And it might have gone the distance. It's gone flat, but right into the stands. Oh, Ooh, an edge. It gripped, but not to be final Kumble, boundary for Brett Lee. Well, that is a beautiful shot from Brett Lee. He threw it. And pushing the fielder, Badrinath. It's a youngster, he does well. 400 comes up for Australia. Four. There's no second slip. Oh yeah, four more for Michael Hussey. Not quite where he intended it, but he was looking to play it late. He's bowled in. That one came back and stayed low as well. Finally, we can see a smile on the face of Zaire Khan and the batsman. A little bit of reverse swing and over goes the off stump. Terrible feeling as a batsman and absolute joy for the bowler. Deserved that, Zahir Khan. The end of Brett Lee, he's gone 27, 421 for eight. Mitchell Johnson can hit the big ball, long balls, best of 15 not out. He's picked the googly and played the reverse sweep. Extra bit of bounce, get him on the glove. It will run away to the boundary. Straight through. Excellent bowling game from Zahir Khan. Using the reverse swing, that's the end of Mitchell Johnson. Shiny side on the inside, swings towards the shine. Bit of an inside edge and timber. But Mitchell Johnson gone for one. It's 4.29 for nine. This bowled him as well. A grand innings comes to an end. Michael Hussey gone. Big inside edge. And Zayn Khan picks up five. Taylor dismissed for 4.30. The end of a fantastic innings from Michael Hussey. So here Khan, the destroyer at the end, inside edge onto the stumps. And a five wicket haul for Zahir Khan. Well deserved. Toiled hard. Got the ball to reverse swing. And a fantastic performance from that man.
146, bold, calm, and the Australians' innings comes to an end. Gambhir has now uh, been in recent years a lot more selective in his uh, shot making. Earlier on, he would throw his hand away by trying to play too many shots too soon, but he's uh, understood the uh, value of uh, the value that he's got to put on his wicket, and he's a lot more uh, selective. Sehwag, of course, is Sehwag. 61 matches and 5,157 at an average of 52. Two triple hundreds. You can't argue against that. There goes Sehwag. It'll pick up pace across those old wicked ends where the players have been practicing and will go for four. There's a bit of timing for you. That's what Gambia's got in his armory. Fabulous stroke. Well, that's a wonderful play from Sewag. He's got him standing and cheering in the bleachers. This opens the face of the blade. That's typical Sewag. Beautifully, every time he gets with it's amazing how it's another boundary on the onside through the gap. Sweet timing, three men covering the leg side, but still Gautam Gambir is good enough to get it into the gap and get a boundary. And this time it's Rindu Seva. It's a very productive area, third man, especially in India, against the faster bowlers. Another example of Virendra Sevag having worked very hard on his shots on the leg side. Beautifully worked out. The bat, Sevag. Oh, again. Good use of the pace of the ball. Sevag, wide of the gap. Now the third man. That's a really good shout, yes! Yes, Bradley strikes! Pace and accuracy first up. Going around this time, wide of the crease. Just straightening a little bit, and he played a little too early, closing the face of the bat. Just a little bit of straightening after pitching was definitely had mid and off stump. Great bowling. Gambit 1 for 21, it's 70 for 1. With 10,246 runs behind him, the great hero of Karnataka and of Bengaluru, Raul Dravid, arrived. <laughs> Dravid finds the space and extra cover. That's just the job. Not only does it boost his own confidence, but it gets his home crowd ticking. Does he call it? He has! Matthew Hayden now, is Verinda Sevag going to stand? He has to go, surely, he's out, caught at slip. Took the ball around the wicket, changing the angle, causing the problem. Too wide, they left that alone. I'm just making the point about having just one slip in a gully, it goes straight to the first slip, Matthew Hayden. He knows how important this wicket is, Mr. Johnson. Verinda Sevag waited, so the appeal and the finger went up. Huge disappointment for Sevag and the crowd, India 76 for 2. Just listen to Sachin Tendulkar's reception. In 151 matches, 11,877 runs accumulated, an average of 54. Back innings like this. Plenty, it would seem. Because we won't see better than that if we watch all day. That's gone past the gully fielder into the boundary. A call for it. Don't be half hearted about it. He's gone in the air. Well, Tendulka is waiting and he's walking. Again, playing early, straight to the man at short cover. This is a huge blow 
for the Indians. Excellent bowling for Mitch Johnson. Get the feeling he took a little bit of pace off this delivery. Very full, and that was the one Ravi Shastri's been talking about. Running your hands across the seam, and an easy, comfortable catch for Cameron White. Well positioned, and the Australians celebrate. That is a big wicket. Tendulkar on his way for 13. India now 94 for three. 94 for three. VVS Lakshman comes out to the middle. Lots of variations coming into play. He's got that away. Fine. Lee goes up in the air. Asad Rao signals leg buys. Edged. And another one goes through with Slip Gordon. It wouldn't have carried. But it'll bring up another boundary. 100 comes up for India. Edged and taken. It's carried through to Brad Haddon and another one goes down for India. It's Mitchell Johnson picking up his third wicket. It was good. Vivius Lakshman stayed rooted to the crease. Foot movement wanting. He had to get closer to the ball. And Brad Haddon does well. Healthy neck. Neat work behind the stumps. And Mitchell Johnson on a roll. His third wicket this morning, and he's doing it for Australia. Vivius Lakshman, gone for none. India, 106 and 4. 106 and 4, India, Surav Ganguly is at the crease, receiving a very warm reception from the crowd here at Bangalore. He will retire at the end of this test series. The ball call as the ball races to the third man boundary. Four. Four, just drifting leg side, wanting LBW. White. And he finds a little bit of extra bounce. Bit of width, and he's paid the price, Shane Watson. It's a boundary for Dravid. Much to the delight of the crowd. Just enough on that for Royal Dravid. The boundary. Gets it now. Good half century for Royal Dravid. Warm the hearts of the local crowd. It's only his second half century on this ground. In a period when the mental energy seemed to drain from him. Yeah! Wrapped on the pads, he's given him. His finger went up straight away. That cut back sharply into Dravid. Interesting to see where the ball struck him and how much the ball moved. A some movement from Shane Watson, that's great to see from his point of view. Inside edge involved in that? I don't think so, I think it's back hitting the pad. And he has to depart for 51 and a good break through here for Australia. 155 for 5. Mahendra Singh Dhoni comes out to the middle at number 7. New. And that misbehaves. The extra bounce. Four buys. Be well, Michael Clark. The response from Ganguly was to charge him, and that's not a bad one. Try and get to the pitch of the ball and negate the turn. Shoulder problems. So there's an opportunity for someone to, to grab that test match spin bowling spot. Gambuli has put that away very easily. Very easily indeed, but it stops just a few inches inside the boundary line. Down the leg side, he might have got enough on this, Gambuli. It will go to the boundary. And he did. Enough fat on it. It's knocked him over, Michael Clark. He's done it again. 
just about to say we were that it's not a bad time to bowl spin. Look at that, it's a good delivery. Nine for Mahindra Dhoni, it's 195 for six. Into Brett Lee. Go! Into the deep. It should run away to the boundary, and it will. Abhijan Singh off the mark. Get more from it. That's Abhijan Singh. And the Bangalore crowd will love him for it. He'll push for two. No, he won't. And gets that away on the onside. Well, he can be unorthodox at times, uh, Harbhajan Singh. He's got a technique of his own, but pretty handy. Go! He's got that fine chase here for Johnson. Two runs comfortably taken. Here's Johnson. He's given him. He lifted his back there, Ganguly. For just a minute, you thought there was a sound. He's looking at his bat as he goes. Dismissal. The judge, LBW. Ball coming back. And hitting just in line. Or is it outside? Certainly hit the pad first. Sheriff gaguli has gone for 47. 2-3-2 two, two for 7. He may get two here, Harbhajan. Pushes hard. And easily done. Got a reaction from the crowd. I don't know if he got anything on it. Buys. And whether it carries or not, it's the other question. Well, that's a good shot. He's just eased it through Gully for a couple. And the 250 comes up for the Indians. It's 251 for seven. Whoa, that is quick. That is too quick even for Brad Hadding. Get a piece of that. Lee find. There's a stroke. A ripper from Zahir Khan. Another beauty. What about that? And now a bit of luck goes his way. Total change of dynamic in the stadium here. And all of a sudden, four buys too. Brad Haddon, who has been faultless. has been an ebb and a flow to the day's play. They certainly are congratulating 50 partnership. What a way to go to 50. What a 50. What a combative cricketer he is. And now Zahir Khan thrashes one over cover. Maybe that Cameron White can pull it up, I don't know. That's a 50-50 call. Probably four. And after all that, the boundary is given. Two men in the deep. But he finds the gap to perfection. Zahir Khan ends the over the boundary. 297 for seven. He's gone after that. It was short, it was wide, asking for trouble, and Zahir Khan is pleased. 300 for India. And over the top, straight down the ground. Bludgeoned another boundary. Just held his shot back. That's gone, caught behind. Watson gets his man. And a very fine innings from Harbhajan Singh comes to an end. He goes for 54. Jan Singh. A little bit of extra bounce from Shane Watson. Just catching 
the top edge and Brad Hatton takes a good catch. Harbajan out for 54, 312 for eight. Oh, that's handy. It's the sort of luck Zahir Khan could do with this morning because the tendency to think is that the bubble bursts the next day. Great stroke, four runs, beautiful square drive. That's four. I slip down the leg side and Kumblik gets some pad on that. Gets it now. Touch around the corner, he'll go back for two. And it's an excellent half century for Zahir Khan. One that he can be proud of. <laughs> oh, that's close, that's close. It looks the correct decision because it was bad first, then bad. Have another quick look at this. Poor pitching. And, well, <laughs> if you had any doubt, I don't think there's any doubt with that one. Pad first and on the shin. No doubt about that one. Anil Kumble, he's gone for five. India, 3.43 for nine. Bowling quick. That's it. Between the keeper and first slip. How frustrating is that? Well, he sees the funny side of it, Watson. Watson to continue. Oh, that's a good bouncer. But he'll get four. This aren't Sharma. It didn't come off the bat, I don't think. But it doesn't matter to the score. As an option, maybe, and moving forward for the next three test matches. Yeah! Keep on! Love old Michael Clark. Straight through Sharma and Clark has done it again. His sick second wicket for the innings, and India's comes to a close. Ishan Sharma looking for the expansive drive. To then he was looking to defend the ball. For the first time, he's looked to be aggressive and he's bowled through the gate. And Clark has done it finally for Australia. And Zahir Khan, the top scorer for India. And a bit of congratulations from the Australian players. 57 not out for Zahir Khan. Michael Clark picking up 2 for 38. And we used to say that about VVS Laxman and Sachin Tendulkar and all sorts but you say it because Verenda's in fine form and he can take on the new ball Problem. oh it's safe just just Tendulkar was the man at square leg the ball seemed to hang in the air and in the end earns Kadic three and Anil Kumble is not taking the field in the second innings that's a tight one, that's a real tight one, up goes the finger, breakthrough achieved, very good delivery again, wicket number six in this match for Zahir Khan and what a match he's having. Ball just drifting back and nipping as well off the surface, Matthew Hayden playing his pad, the ball hits the pad and would have gone on to hit middle, middle and leg and there's the dreaded finger of doom. Matthew Hayden is on his way for 13, Australia, 21 for one. Ricky Ponting, 123 in the first innings, comes in at a tricky time. Rupajan Singh continues, Ponting down the track, takes the aerial route. That's good positive cricket by the Australian captain. Has gone away for four. Ganguly a little too square on the uh, onside. Oh, beautifully bold. Classic off spin. Getting the bat away from the body. Oh, dear Scott of mid-wicket. The tactic works. Fantastic cricket. Has fallen for it. The short mid-wicket kept there for Sharma, who gets the ball to dart back in. And taken low down by VVS Lakshman, Ishan Sharma gets Ricky Ponting once again. It's 49 for two. Just opening the face of the blade. This will go away for four. The 
first two tests. And that will run away for four. No, wide of slip. A scream of catch it from Harbison. But it's four more to Michael Hussey. And over the top. Good shot there from Simon Kaditz. He threw it up Harbison. He took on that man at mid-off. And that brings up the 50 partnership. Coming in on the offside might have brought that stroke. Yeah. Beautiful catch. It spat off the wicket. Straight after the boundary, what a comeback from Harbhajan Singh and Simon Kalic is on his way. Yes, so when the ball had uh, popped up just like this, he played it beautifully with soft hands, but look at that, yes, hard hands. And that's why the ball popping up in the air and uh, VVS Lakshman completing the catch. The reward for Harbhajan finally, it's 99 for three. Michael Clark strides to the crease. Good shot. Great shot from Michael Clark. Off the mark with the boundary. Oh, that's four. Daniel will be hoping it's wides rather than buys. And he's got his wish. Well, maybe got a little carried away, the young man. And Sharma has a great change of pace. We've seen that before. There it is. Gone. We talked about it. And he fell for the trap, Michael Clark. And he's on his way. And, yes, this is the slower delivery. And another one bites the dust to Ishan Sharma's slower delivery. Michael Clark is out. It's 115 for four. That's nicely played. He's uh, through the offside for a boundary. Judgment from Hussey, which is rare. Stump. This occasion, we see the ball. Ah, the Dustra. We've seen it, and with success. Fantastic bowling and a huge breakthrough. The end of Michael Hussey, Australia. Five for one, two, eight. Brad Haddon comes out to the middle. The Aussie wicketkeeper will look to set India target. That's in the air, just clearing Seva. Short delivery. And Roxy's going to play his strokes, and they're very good strokes. He's a fine, fine striker of the ball. King of the IPL a few months ago here. No, oh, missed opportunity, is it? Very expensive over this from Harbhajan Singh. a quarter chance let's call it Haddon hit that ball so so hard it's 151 for five Oi! well just hasn't got his line quite right at the moment Tabajan Singh oh that's lovely play lovely touch had in not just a power broker but a touch merchant as well yeah great late cut pounced on it the first time that De Watson has had width offered to him by Anil Kumble change of angle for Harbison he switches to around the wicket and immediately causes a problem However, Australia had four to their tally. Oh. Starts off with a no ball. Kumlet. Good running. Three runs added to the score. Well, that's bordering on the brilliant. That's an unbelievable stroke. Watson went down to play a little fine river sweep shot. He drives splendidly down the ground. As lovely a shot as one could wish to see at this early time of the morning. As the target to set the Indians. Bowling! Mission Sharma strikes!
Shane Watson going across the line for just about the first time in his innings against the Seamers. Instructions in the dressing room would have been go for it. We'll bat maybe 30, 40 minutes at best. And Ishan Sharma shortening his length this time round. Not the full, uh, full pitch that he had bowled the previous delivery. Watson out for 41, 203 for 6. Great stroke. That gets him going. Wasn't right out of the middle of the bat, but it'll do very nicely. What you have to do as a wicketkeeper is have the right attitude to it. See it as a, a challenge, an opportunity. Great timing. Great timing that does earn him a boundary. may not surprise you given the country's fascination with cricket but what it's done is it's focused further attention on all of the players who've been around for a long time in the Indian side the four batsmen that we know well Dravid, Tendulkar it's 2 to 8 for 6 the lead of 298 Right, we've got a declaration. Just come uh, a touch earlier than we might have expected it to. Uh, I can't see anyone else just, uh, it's including Tendulkar, coming out there and just taking the attack to the opposition. For Sevag, it's his uh, natural game. He has always been unorthodox at times. That's gone past Haddon and into the boundary. Sevag is away with four. That's a lovely cover drive to end the over. That's picked away on the onside and he split the field. Beautifully timed and placed. To him this morning, said it's pretty sore. Oh, did it carry to Matthew Hayden? It has. It's a good catch from Matthew Hayden. Veranda Sobag looking to turn that down the leg side. And the first one goes down for India. Closing the face of the bat again a little too early. And a good look has taken by Matty Hayden. He's got a lovely pair of hands. Celebration time for Australia. Because the danger man, wherein the Sivag has paid the penalty, not playing straight enough. Stuart Clark striking, Sivag gone, India 16 for 1. Oh, that's a nice shot, beautiful shot to get off the mark, it'll be a boundary. It's raced away. Picked off and taken. Beautiful catch from Ricky Ponting, diving to his right. He hit it well, Raul Dravid, but straight into the hands of the Aussie skipper. Delighted. Look at that reaction time. Oh, dear, oh dear, what a catch. Get rid of Rahul Dravid. Bradley finally gets his wicket. Wicket number one for him in the second innings. Dravid goes for five. India, 24 for two. 11,000. 890 test runs. He needs 64 more to pass Brian Lara. That's nicely played. Extremely well played, in fact. The timing is uh, so good that the ball races away to the boundary and it wasn't. And then characteristic little misfield. But again. Well, oh, fine leg glance, as fine as you like. And as perfectly timed as you like. And the leg side. Yes, because the ball does get uh, off the uh, pitch and keeps low. Oh, oh, we talked about it keeping low. 
And playing him off the back foot probably wasn't a wise option. But it's another boundary. And buys. Good start for him in the first over. 50 for two. That's a lovely shot and good effort there. Good running by the Indians. Three runs there. Nicely played. Plenty of open spaces. This will race away to the boundary. Good use of his feet. Takes it on the full and dispatches it to the boundary. Quicker than it did. On day three or four, he's bowled him here. And that's a clean-up job. If there were one, he's gone through the defence of Gambir. And away through the defences of Gambir. Again, the slightly slower ball must have just come back off the surface, straight through the defences, and that's a big breakthrough. VBS Lakshman comes out to the middle. 97 matches for him, exactly 6,000 runs. He comes out uh, on a pair. Tim Trump going forward. Clip nicely on the onside. Two runs comfortably taken. He plays uh, so well in that area, Lakshman. One's moved across to a shortish extra cover. Four runs for VVS Lakshman. We just have to accept that as a bowler. Catch it! Oh! Whoa, and he wasn't far from getting it either. That would have been the moment. As it is, it's another boundary for Tendulkar. But it has not crumbled at all. And it hasn't turned consistently, even for a Harbhajan Singh and a Kumla, it hasn't turned consistently. That'll race him over to the boundary. I'm not sure if there's anything on it. Two wickets in the first innings. So is he expecting that, that every time he now bowls, he'll get wickets? Well, this one's gone for a boundary. Lovely drive by VVS Lachman. 121 for three. He's hit the stumps again, and this time it's cost him a boundary. Easy pickings for VVS. Two boundaries in a row. Poor T. Oh. And it's down the leg side. It'll race away to the boundary. The question will be, did VVS get his bat on it? He did. 50 partnership between uh, Laxman and Tanduka. And clever. Really clever. No slip. And I think done on purpose. So there may have been a thick edge involved. There may have been... Tendulkar's gone, caught an extra cover. Cameron White has a crucial wicket. Not think about that and just concentrate on every ball as it came out of the hand. In the end, uh, not quite to the pitch of the ball. And a simple catch uh, for Michael Clark. So Australia still in it. India can't afford to be complacent. Tendulkar goes for 49, it's 138 for four. Right, Ganguly's got out to the middle. Two shot. Doesn't matter, Ganguly. It is early at the crease. It's there to be put away, and he does exactly that. Like that. That's a beauty. It's going to go for buys. And go all the way. Four buys, in fact. But uh, what a ripping delivery. Unless the light gets brighter, Ricky Ponting might not use his faster bowlers. Does it have enough to get to the boundary? Clark putting in the chase, getting in the leg and saves the boundary. Ganguly will pick up three. A little bit sore with that elbow injury. Michael Clark doing the work in the deep, he's got a good arm. 34. They haven't been in too much trouble. They didn't have too much trouble with that delivery either. And he 
easy boundary to put away. One seventy-seven for four. That's the over. Well, that's it. The game has officially been called off. The two skippers have agreed to end the day's play on day five of this test match. It's been a wonderful test match in Bangalore. 177 for four, India. It was good captaincy by Ricky Ponting. I have to say, Australia were always in the position to try and win this game, and it was for Ganguly and Co. to try and save it, and they did that very well. Vivius Laxman, the not out batsman on 42, with Surab Ganguly on 26. Right, uh, there were a lot of issues with uh, light, there was a lot of issues with the weather, but finally, uh, the game ended in a uh, draw. It was quite a bit of an anti-climax because it was set up after Ricky Ponting declared uh, very sportingly. India left 299 to win. India were left with 299 to win. 177 for the loss of four wickets. But the important thing was India managed to come out of jail considering the way this particular test match unfolded.